hey guys it's musha and welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'll be sharing with you how i made my moringa hair growth butter and how you too can also make it for yourself so if this is your first time here be sure to subscribe guys and so what i was using is um some shea butter these are the ingredients that you need and this is the brand that i was using i do apologize for the angle if you can't really see because i didn't really know it wasn't really showing um but yeah i will link all the ingredients in the description i used some rosemary um fresh rosemary and then i used some hostel tea um herbs that i got from amazon and i mixed all that and warmed it up on a slow um cooker and yeah so then i got all the goodness out of the herbs and then i used grapeseed oil and avocado oil in that mixture that's what that's what you see and then to melt the shea butter all i use is some hot water and then place the shea butter in there this will help to melt it without um destroying all the good nutrients from the shea butter and then i add my mixture of oils and herbs in the mixture and because this oil was already warm this made it easy for my shea butter to melt as well so you want to make sure that your shea butter is melted completely because you don't want to um start blending it before it has melted i also added some moringa powder to it um you know yeah just because i wanted to make this extra powerful strong um hair growth mixture and uh, i will tell you a bit of the benefits about moringa in a minute so like i was saying make sure you melt your butter um because you don't want it to be grainy when you are using it so uh, i made sure that it was all melted and everything was mixed up together really really well and then we blend so while we're blending let me just tell you a little bit about moringa powder so moringa powder um has built a strong reputation for promoting natural hair growth due to the high content of key nutrients such as vitamins a b and e and zinc zinc is especially important because it promotes keratin production and keratin makes up 90 percent of every hair on your head um some rosemary rosemary oil helps stimulate follicles and strengthens hair from the root making them longer and shinier known to nourish the scalp thoroughly Rosemary oil can prove to be the best alternative to your market-based anti-dandruff shampoo. The essential oil also shows, slows down premature hair loss and graying all the hair. Um, and let me tell you a little bit about Hostel. Hostel is said to improve circulation, leading to the improvement of hair follicles and to help stimulate hair growth. The herb also has the ability to increase urine output by acting as a diuretic, leading the system to cleanse and detox itself. So yeah, you got some extra information there. But yeah, Hostel contains high levels of silica. Silica is a compound which helps to strengthen not only hair, but also nails. Hostel plant is also known to improve blood circulation, which helps to lead to healthier hair and follicles. So now that we are all blended up, I did add a bit of orange, sweet orange essential oil just to make it smell nice. And um, because obviously, as you can imagine, the smell of all these herbs put together. Um, yeah. So yeah, and then I just transfer it into a tub and then apply onto my hair. You can use this as a pre-treatment before you wash your hair or after you wash your hair or whenever it just depends on how you feel it's like a multi-purpose use you can use it as a pre-shampoo pre-poo you can use it as a deep treatment mask you can use it as a detangler you can just use it um, mix it in with your deep conditioners you can just use it for a whole lot of things um it's literally multi-purpose try adding it to your deep conditioner and warm your deep conditioner up a little bit and you will be amazed with the results my hair was feeling so soft um even though i was just i you know applying at this point but yeah so this is going to help to strengthen your hair 
you know strengthen your follicles and all those good things that we all want and need when it comes to growing our hair so what i do now is just twist up the hair and then just continue doing the same thing okay so once i am done applying my mixture i just sit under my steamer i usually do this about 30 to 45 minutes depending on how i feel because sometimes the thing will go off at 30 minutes and i just feel like i didn't get enough of it because i love this steamer you guys it's literally the best thing i ever got for myself um yeah so like i usually go on for like another 10 15 minutes after 30 minutes just because it's so nice and warm under there 
um, and I just enjoy the experience of steaming my hair so that's what I usually do um, yeah it's, that's pretty much it for this video you guys thank you so much for watching if you found this video helpful be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're watching me for the first time and um, we'd love to have you join the family and yeah follow the journey to wasteland because it's wasteland or nothing period so after that all i do is rinse out my hair as normal and then that's it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys